Peyton Place. Starring Dorothy Malone as Constance McKenzie, Warner Anderson as Matthew Swain, Ed Nelson as Michael Rossi, Mia Farrow as Allison McKenzie, Ryan O'Neill as Rodney Harrington, and Barbara Parkins as Betty Anderson. Norman Harrington has changed, thanks to his friendship with Rita Jacks. Neither Norman nor Rita are aware of what the ultimate price of this friendship will be. Oh, excuse me. Oh, Mr. Court. It's a good thing it wasn't a head-on collision. Great day, huh? Oh, it's too hot. No. Got time for coffee? Thanks, but I have to go to the mill and catch a bus for Boston. It's hot in Boston, too. Hotter? I'm delivering some documents to your grandfather. Want to come along? Nope. Rebellion's out. Graduation from high school's in. When you see my grandfather, tell him I said hello, and I hope he feels better. How long since you've seen your grandfather? Mm, it's been quite a while. Well, I gotta be going. I'll see you later, Norman. Have fun. Make a nice cup of coffee, Rita. Sit down, Norman, please. You'll never wind up an old maid. That's 15 cents. Okay. But uh, what about that coffee to go that I asked for? You didn't ask for any coffee to go. Well, of course I did. The first thing that I said when I came in here was, how lonesome I've been for you. And then I said, uh, Two cups of coffee to go. Black and no sugar. Now, what are you looking at him for? I mean, he wasn't even around when I put in my order. Okay, okay, Joe. Five cents. Got any donuts? No. Well, uh, what are those round things with the holes in them on the plate right behind you? They're stale. I can't sell them. Well, they look pretty good to me. They're stale! I don't think you're gonna last very long around here, Rita. Fifty-five cents, please. Okay. the change. You get yourself something to quiet down your nerves. I think you need it, Rita. Goodbye, Joe. I'll see you later. No, you won't. It's the same old Rita. She always starts out by saying no. You're not gonna see her again, understand? Norman. How would you like to wear some coffee, Norman? Stay away from her, or I'll... Are you what, Norman? I'll kill you. I'll see you.
Norman, what happened? Nothing. Well, that takes care of that. Norman, I can't let you get it. Rita, I don't feel like having a group discussion about anything, understand? Okay. Sorry. Be all right, let him go. Sometimes all you can do is let them cool off. He won't cool off. Norman will do something frantic. Something I could get you, Betty? I did come in for a cup of coffee, but it's not important. I heard you were going to start night school. Where'd you hear that? I can't remember. I suppose you think it's a stupid idea. Oh, I think it's a marvelous idea. Do you? Mm -hmm. Well, it's not gonna work. Nothing's gonna work. Not this job, not school, not Norman. I don't belong with Norman. Don't run away, Rita. I don't want to. Then don't. Joe Chernock is poison. He's gonna make trouble for me and Norman unless I stop seeing Norman. Maybe Joe's right. Maybe I do belong under a rock somewhere with him and his friends. Mm -mm. You're good for Norman and he's good for you. You don't understand. I do understand. I understand completely. I ran away. I ran away and hid. I can tell you all about it. Don't run away and don't go back. Here. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Schuster's office. Just a moment, please. I'll see if he's in. Mr. Howard Fish is calling. Yes, sir. I'll be right with you. Oh, there's no hurry. Quite all right. I'm sorry. He seems to have stepped out for a moment. May I take a message? 738-4672. I'll have him call as soon as he returns. Thank you. May I help you? You must be Mrs. Anderson. Yes, I am. Hello. I'm Mrs. Schuster. Well, hello. I've heard so much about you. My husband speaks very highly of you. I'm flattered. Is he busy? No. No, I don't think so. I uh, brought him a gift. It's a desk set. Can I get rid of this box? Yes, of course. Let me help you. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? He'll be delighted, I'm sure. I hope so. Thank you. I'll tell you here. All right. Your wife's here to see you, Mr. Schuster. Thank you. Hi. I brought you something very special. This. I thought it was time to get something really important for your desk. And I was uh, browsing around at this little antique store. And I just found it. Don't let me keep you from your work. Did she pass inspection? Uh, what did you say? Did Mrs. Anderson meet with your approval? Oh, David. Come on, Doris. The day after I hire a secretary, you come in to redecorate my office? I just brought you a little ink stand, that's all. Well, when you bring presents to the office... You know, David, you really should be a detective. Uh, with your imagination, you could be a spy, or you could even write mystery uh, novels. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what's your opinion of her? Thank you. Well, I only just met her. 
people, you must have a first impression. She seems very nice and efficient and attractive. She is efficient. And attractive. Well, now, that's just a simple statement of fact. Does that bother you? Does it bother you? No. Should it? 